Hello, in this part, we are going to look at upper and lower bounds. So this is about, again, accuracy of a number. So suppose I have a book and I take a ruler and measure the length of this book. So let's say I measure the book and I find that it is 21.4 cm long. So I've measured this on the ruler. But actually, actually, as you know, the ruler is has marks on it in uh, same millimeters. And when you read the ruler to measure the length of a book, you would just read off the nearest mark. You would just read from the nearest mark. So that means that the length of the book may not be exactly on the 21.4 centimeter mark. It might just be quite close to it, closer to it than say the 21.5 or 21.3. So let me draw out that mark. So let's say I have that ruler. I have some marks here in the ruler. So that's four, three, two, one. Maybe that's the 21. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the twenty-two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. So twenty-one point four would be one, two, three, four. Would be that. Now, but it does not mean that the book is exactly that long because maybe it's just somewhere around that mark. So maybe the book can be somewhere in between here and here. All right, in between the halfway point of the, these, these two, these two uh, intervals. So as long as it's any, the length goes up to anywhere around here, we call it 21.4. So that's the kind of thing that um, that's the kind of meaning we should understand when we look at a decimal number, thirty-one point four. If if this number is supposed to to uh, represent something something real, something that uh, we measure, like temperature or or weight or height, all right, it's always some kind of a, a there's always some kind of a rounding off involved. So the idea here is that we want to know, we want to understand that if you see a number like 21.4, that is uh, a number that is measured from uh, about something, we want to know what are the upper and lower bounds. That means we want to know, uh, okay, that means we, we understand that 21.4 is maybe the closest uh, it's a number that's rounded off to one decimal place. We want to know what is the highest possible va the value or the lowest possible value of the actual number rather than just this rounded off number. So if you look at this picture, you can already see immediately what are the highest and lowest value. The highest value is that one and the lowest value is that one. It's the value, the highest value is the value that is at the middle of, of this interval on the right and the lowest value is the value um, that is at the middle of the interval on the left. So if I write those out, okay, now that, that's 21.4, right? So that must be 21.5. In the middle is 21.45. Okay, and on the other side that's that's 21.3. So this must be 21.35. So that means that that's the upper bound. And that's the lower bound. So it's quite simple. I just have to add um, half 
half of the next decimal place that means in this case 0.05 and I'll get the upper bound and I subtract half of the interval and I'll get the lower bound so this gives me an idea of um, what the upper what is the, how, how accurate this thing is what what is the range of possible value all right the length of this book really is so with this understanding I that means I know that actually the book may not be exactly 21.4 centimeters long it must be somewhere between 21.35 and 21.45 centimeters so that's one thing now the other thing is that um, we have to be slightly careful about the upper and lower bound now the reason is has to do with the way that we do rounding off if I have 21.4 for example um, right if I have if you if I look at these two numbers 21.35 now, if I want to round off 21.35 to one decimal place, then the answer is just 21.4, alright? But if I want to round off 21.45 to one decimal place, I would actually get 21.5, okay? Because the way we round off is that if the last place is a 5, we round up. If the last place is a 5, we round up. Yes. If the last place is less than 5, we round down. So 21.45 will round up to 21.5 and not. 21.4 so this means something this means that um, when we say 21.45 is an upper bound in this case the actual length of the bow okay the actual possible value of the the length cannot be 21.45 it must be less than that but it can be any number less than that even if it's just a tiny bit less but it cannot be exactly 21.45 because that rounds up to that so we have a situation here the situation here is that if I have a number that is 21.45 uh, 21.4 that's corrected to one decimal place then it is possible that the actual value can be anywhere between 21.35 and 21.45 but although it can be although it's 21.35 is a possible number that it can have 21.45 it is not so this it cannot be equal to or more than 21.45 but it can be equal to 21.35 or more than 21.35 so one way we can write this is that if I say that the length of the book if I call it uh, x let's say x is the length of the book that has been rounded off to 21.4 so I say this is approximately 21.4 then the actual value of x I can say I can use this symbol to represent it. I can say that x can be more than or equal to 21.35 but x must be less than 21.45 okay, but x cannot be equal to A little bit more complicated if we want to find the area of a book. Let's say I have a 
bulk, right? And let's say the length of this bulk is four centimeter, and the width is three centimeters. But suppose that actually they are not exactly four and three centimeters. That the four, the numbers four and three are just rounded off numbers, rounded to the nearest whole number. So that means actually the length can be anywhere between 3.5 and 4.5 centimeters. The width can be anywhere between 2.5 and 3.5 centimeters. Okay, so 4 and 3 are just rounded off numbers. If that's the case, we can ask the question, <coughs> what is the area of the book? You know we can find area by taking, just multiplying the length and the width. So area is just 4 times 3 equals to 12 cm squared. So that's the area. But because we know that 4 and 3 are just rounded off numbers, the, the actual value is somewhere in those ranges. So that also means that the actual area may not be exactly 12 cm squared. It would be it could be a, a bit more or a bit less. Now in this case we might be interested to find. Okay, you might see a question that asks you to find the upper and lower bounds for the area. And the way to do that, if I want to find the lower lower bound of the area, the way is to take the lower bound of each side. So 3.5 and 2.5. Multiply them and calculate the answer. That gives you the lower bound. Then when you want the upper bound, you find that by taking the upper bound of each side, 4.5. 3.5 multiply them that gives the upper bound for the area so that's how we would use the idea of upper and lower bounds to tell us how accurate this area is this 12 centimeter squared is okay, we'll stop here